welcome to polyvin group of minerals so the outline of the topic it includes introduction polyvin group of minerals composition structure physical properties optical properties occurrence and uses coming to the introduction um, olivines are very important rock forming mineral group and uh, so they contain uh, magnesium and iron also so magnesium rich olivines they are abundant in low silica mafic and ultra mafic igneous rocks and these are to be the most abundant constituent of the earth's upper mantle and olivine it also uh, found in high temperature metamorphic rocks and also in lunar basalts and also in some meteorites meteorites are extraterrestrial material which hit the earth there are different types like stony meteorites iron meteorites and so on so the name olivine it derives from the unusual it has a unusual yellow green to deep bottle green color Uh, which is of magnesium iron olivine series and typically the name olivine it is given to the members of the forstrite phyllite and it will form a solid solution series in addition to this magnesium and iron uh, uh, end members the olivine group it also contains manganese calcium manganese and then calcium magnesium suppose if uh, manganese is there it is known as a tephrite and if it consists of calcium manganese it is known as a uh, glucocorite and if contain calcium magnesium it is known as a monticellite and calcium iron it is known as a kirschenite these are the end members and the, the term olivine it is generally used to describe a group of uh, solid solution series with the uh, forstrite and phyllite as the end members and it has a green color typical green color uh, uh, which occurs in mafic and uh, ultra mafic igneous rocks and it has uh, excellent physical mechanical thermal properties and uh, it can be used as a slag and it can be used as a conditioner refractory material foundry sand and so on and it's can it can be also be used as a covering material for under uh, water pipes and cables etc coming to the olivine group of minerals so it includes like uh, forstrite phyllite tephrite calcio olivine and uh, another uh, uh, group uh, con constitutes like uh, larnite monticellite and so on so forstrite means it is uh, uh, also known as magnesium olivine so that is mg2 sio4 and uh, here sio4 is the uh, niso silicate structure silicon oxide tetrahedra that we will be discussing in the next slide so forstrite is magnesium silicate phyllite is iron silicate and tephrite is manganese silicate and calcio olivine it is ca2 sio4 like that so there are so many questions uh, objective questions uh, in competitive exams like uh, which of the following is known as magnesium olivine iron olivine and then manganese olivine and uh, monticellite what is monticellite monticellite consists of calcium magnesium silicate uh, it's uh, known as a calcium magnesium olivine so like that there are uh, these minerals have to be uh, remembered coming to the overall uh, olivine end members so just now we have discussed like uh, forstrite phyllite tephrite calcio olivine so the chemical compositions has to be studied in detail and other olivine group minerals like larnite monticellite and so on so the structure uh, coming to the structure all olivines crystallize in the orthorhombic crystal system and uh, this is uh, classified as a niso silicate it they will occur as uh, here the silicon oxide tetrahedra they will occur as independent and they are also known as island silicates and they bound to each other only by ionic bonds uh, which are forming from the interstitial cations and the olivine structure it consists of isolated uh, silicon oxide tetrahedra uh, pointing alternatively up and down and along the rows parallel to c axis and magnesium iron they will occur in uh, octahedral coordination that is m cations in two distinct octahedral sites and uh, a distorted m1 site and more regular m2 site they will have two sites like m1 and m2 so here uh, uh, overall uh, this uh, structure uh, the layers are parallel to 100 plane with edge sharing octahedra cross linked by isolated tetrahedra that is sio4 tetrahedra and then magnesium and iron they appear to occupy the m1 or m2 sites without preference in the magnesium iron series and in calcium magnesium silicate olivine uh, calcium prefers m2 site with uh, magnesium in the m1 site so these are uh, the structure is known as a niso ortho or island silicates so these are the very simple silicates and uh, these are the primitive stage like uh, if the corner oxygens are not shared with other silicon oxide tetrahedra so like this then each tetrahedra will be isolated so they will occur as isolated units that's why they are referred as island silicate uh, group and the basic structural unit is sio4 4 minus and in this group oxygens are shared with octahedral groups that contain other cations like uh, magnesium zircon or calcium and so on so simple silicate uh, structure it is containing discrete means independent silicon oxide tetrahedral units and the uh, silicates of magnesium zirconium and then garnet topaz they are the other examples of uh, niso silicates 
then coming to the physical properties so crystal system uh, all the olivine group they belongs to orthorhombic crystal system and they occur as a uh, well developed uh, crystals the prismatic crystals and uh, they, they occur in different colors especially uh, green and uh, pale green olive green uh, sometimes they may be brownish white or yellow uh, in in the case of forstite that is magnesium olivine brown or black in the case of phyllite is also known as iron olivine that is fe2sl4 and the cleavage it is poor on 010 uh, cleavage surface and fracture it has a conchoidal when it has convex shape uh, uh, surface that is known as a conchoidal and uh, it is vitreous luster and uh, definitely uh, it is about very transparent to translucent some varieties may be translucent but most of the varieties are transparent and uh, it has a hardness of 6 to 7 and specific gravity is about 3.22 and uh, the important uh, diagnostic feature is it has a glassy luster and uh, conchoidal fracture which is very green in color most of the uh, olivine group of minerals are green in color and uh, granular nature also coming to the optical properties the 2v uh, it is about 82 to 134 degrees and the uh, color it is colorless to faint green and uh, these are anhedral in protonic rocks whereas uh, in extrusive rocks these are euhedral and the cleavage is poor on 010 and the high relief you can observe uh, in this uh, olivine group of minerals and generally olivine alters to serpentine this is a very common factor that olivine alters to serpentine and by is high third order refringence colors will be seen and uh, forstrate is biaxial negative uh, biaxial positive to two types of like forstrate and phyllite so biaxial uh, negative and biaxial positive can be seen and extinction is parallel extinction and uh, the what are the distinguishing features is high retardation and it has distinct distinctive fracturing and uh, uh, it has a uh, uh, the cleavage is not that much uh, this thing and uh, it alters to serpentine and uh, colorless to olivine green olive green in thin section and we can see the uh, second order interference colors these are the important optical properties coming to the olivine crystallization olivine is uh, primarily it occurs in ultra basic igneous rocks it is an, uh, an igneous mineral which is crystallizing from high temperature magma so uh, its two most end members like forstite and phyllite they melt at different temperatures and olivine's crystallization behavior is similar to that of the plagioclase here the diagram is seen so here the temperatures uh, we can observe the forstite and phyllite like here you can see the liquidus and solidus and the melting point of olivine at one atmospheric pressure it will give two phase uh, liquid melt and uh, solid exists together so this is known as a solidus so like that uh, the compositions of the temperatures that plot below the solidus are 100 percent crystalline then olivine in the earth mantle at high temperatures and pressures it is found at uh, depth within the earth and olivine structure is no longer stable that means it will convert into another structure so below the uh, depths of about 14 kilometers uh, this olivine transforms into vadsilite and at about 520 kilometers this again this vadsilite it transforms into ringwoodite so which has the spinel structure so at a depth of uh, 660 kilometers this ringwoodite it decomposes to perascoite so perascoite is magnesium iron silicate mgfesio3 and and ferropericlase so that is magnesium iron oxide and these phase transitions led to a discontinuous increase in the uh, density of the earth's mantle and that can be observed by seismic methods then occurrence just uh, olivine occurs most widely in oceanic crust in extrusive basic igneous rock and uh, in greater proportions in intrusive basic rocks that is gabbro and down into the mantle so this is almost known as a peridotite it is a rock largely consisting of olivine peridotite is a rock largely consisting of olivine from that it is derived and such sequences of deep ocean crust mantle are material so these are sometimes they may be uh, thrust up into continental crust during the tectonic activity or mountain building activity and in earth surface this olivine it is found as a major component in most of the basic rocks and therefore it is one of the uh, most widely distributed mineral in the earth's crust coming to uh, the its occurrence uh, in detail uh, it occurs predominantly in mafic and uh, ultra mafic where dark color minerals are present it is uh, uh, a very uh, mafic uh, composition it restricts its occurrence and other mafic minerals containing the same elements with additional silicon are more abundant in some basalts magnesium rich olivine it forms large green phenocris so which can be observed with a naked eye and in a fine grained plagioclase pyroxene ground mass so magnesium uh, rich olivine it is never found in the felsic rocks but iron rich olivine is uh, occasionally found in some granite it's also so this is the uh, slight difference between magnesium rich olivine and iron rich olivine olivine occurs in metamorphic rocks also including marble and metamorphosed igneous rocks it is also found in mantle xenoliths so these are the samples of the mantle that have been carried to the surface by magmas these are known as a mantle xenoliths so this is also found in the mantle xenoliths where the samples of the mantle have been uh, carried forward to the surface by the magmas 
then uh, this uh, is primarily an igneous mineral crystallizing from high temperature magmas its two most important end members like forcite and phyllite they melt at different temperatures and olivine's crystallization behavior is sim very similar to the plagioclase which will form a solid solution series then alteration just olivine is uh, highly susceptible or subject to weathering when compared to the other minerals due to hydrothermal alteration and uh, metasomatic alteration and so on the alteration products they are very complex sometimes of uh, fine grained minerals they are not uh, they cannot be that distinguished by optical means and some characteristic forms of olivine alteration are it alters to serpentine so serpentine alteration it is common uh, in plutonic or metamorphic rocks and uh, it's being along the fracture it is uh, due to the process of uh, hydrothermal process and may come completely convert this olivine into serpentine with a structure characteristic of olivine fracture pattern so still olivine structure uh, fracture pattern can be seen in serpentine and uh, coming to the varieties so like uh, forstrite it is a white greenish or yellowish in crystalline limestones or it will also occur in ultra basic igneous rocks especially dunites and peridotites also so phyllite is uh, brown or black in color and very important is the peridot it is a gem variety of olivine which is very transparent and pale green and it is used in uh, metallurgical industries refractory industries gemstones and other industries thank you